Hey guys, welcome. If you're new here and you don't know who I am, I'm Christine. I'm owner and content creator of bloomingbrilliant.net, where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I homeschool my daughter who's 13 and my son who is nine right here in Brooklyn, New York, and I love to share a homeschooling journey with you. If you're new here and you're interested in homeschooling, then you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you're alerted when we post new videos. So today I'm talking about the cost of homeschooling. How much dinero, how much money does homeschooling actually cost? Well, most likely if you're watching this video, you're interested in homeschooling and you're wondering how much it's going to cost you. And it's really great that you're doing this research and looking into what the possible cost of homeschooling can be. There are a lot of options when it comes to homeschooling. There's tons of curriculum and tons of ways to go about homeschooling. Um, homeschool budgets can be really small. You can utilize a lot of free options and it could almost be free if it needs to be. But you can also go on the other extreme and spend thousands upon thousands of dollars on curriculum and your homeschool can cost a fortune if that's what you choose. Today we're going to talk about both things like how you can homeschool and all your options when it comes to how much it's going to cost. Before we go into all that, I want to share my experience. So when we began our homeschooling journey, I was still what I am now, a solo mom with all the responsibility, but I wasn't working. There was not really much to any money coming into the household. And we had to homeschool on a budget. And it was like about, I would say like a hundred or so dollars to um, homeschool and that was like with supplies. I did spend a lot of time creating my own um, materials. And I mean, I did purchase curriculum. I did search for like the best deals I could find on it. Um, and I, I did spend a lot more time in creating materials and curating the materials. And so that's where like the cost you have to see where it like where you're giving and taking because when I started working I had a lot less time then to create my own curriculum as my kids were growing up and utilize it with them and then search for things so I ended up purchasing a lot more curriculum that was just easier to just implement and things that were just work for us instead of me driving myself crazy but both options had great you know results like my kids were learning and having fun in both in both options so i just wanted to share a little bit about our experience in the two different budgets like i didn't i'm not in the thousands but <laughs> um we do spend more than we used to on curriculum and homeschooling in general but like now i do enroll my kids in more like classes that cost money and things like that but they're also growing and they're older so i think that also takes into account like what stage they're in um i think for the younger set you could definitely get away with using less expensive curriculum and a lot more free things i'm not saying that it necessarily has to get more expensive as they get older but i think your, your chances of it getting ex more pricey when it gets when they get older is more probable one thing you should do before you decide to homeschool or when you're just starting that home your homeschooling journey is to take a loose budget of what everything cost for you for the year and how and how much money is coming in and where everything goes and how much of that like the rest of the money that you have left over is can be directed towards homeschooling and when you have that homeschool budget be able to have it it should be loose because you never know throughout the year what's going to um come up and where you're going to have to you know pay for something or do something but regardless have that homeschool budget set aside that that little nest egg for that so that way you can tell like how much you can actually afford when it comes to your homeschool so let's put it this way does it cost money to homeschool your child well homeschooling can cost some money as i said and it really depends on how like what your budget is and how you're working your homeschool but some things that you can pretty much count on spending money is 
um, technology like a computer or computers, depending on how you run your household. I have a computer for my kids to do their homeschool on and I have a work computer. Um, so that was an expense for us. We, um, and other things like supplies, like I've mentioned, you know, you have to pay for paper and pens and crayons, sometimes art supplies, things like that. So well, those can still be affordable. I pick up tons of stuff at like the dollar store, but it's still an expense. What does it cost to homeschool your children? And it really always comes down to the choices that you make for your homeschool. So there are free options when it comes to homeschooling curriculum. They have websites online, there's blogs that have tons of resources that you can use um, as homeschooling curriculum. There is so much out there that you can get for free. Libraries are the greatest place to go if you're looking for free um, ways to teach your children as well. But there's also paid stuff like a lot of curriculum asks to be you know you have to buy it and there's lots of online classes and in-person classes and homeschool co-ops that require payment so it really all depends on the choices that you make for your homeschool and for what curriculum you want to go with and doing your research and knowing how much everything costs and writing it all down really does help to create a budget or stick to your budget too let's talk about some determining factors when it comes to choosing curriculum, choosing a budget and figuring out how much this is all going to cost. So one thing that I share when I talk about choosing curriculum is you always have to be aware of your situation. So um, I mentioned that my homeschooling choices varied when I wasn't working and when I was working. And while I wasn't working, I spent a lot less money on curriculum and things. I spent a lot more time and energy in doing stuff for like preparing for homeschool. In the other realm, I spend a lot less time preparing things and more time implementing. So you need to take into account um, your situation, how much time and energy you have, how much money you have to give to your homeschool. How much it costs to homeschool your child will depend on a few things. How many children you have, what type of curriculum you're going to use, if any, um, what types of classes they will take um, inside and outside the home, um, if they will be a part of any activities outside the home, how much those things cost. Also, um, if there's any other homeschool programs that you want to be, um, you want to take part in, if they have prices that needs to all be taken into account as well books, textbooks, workbooks, um, online classes, homeschool supplies, technology, computers, tablets, um, any kind of software or programming like apps and things, they all need to be taken into account as well. Also other things like if you might need child care or, ch or help, like a mother's aid, some people do that. They have a wide range of children and they want to focus on certain children they might ask for help so that there is somebody to keep the little ones um occupied while you're trying to get stuff done or if you're working outside the home and you need some kind of daycare that also needs to be taken into account as well homeschooling can cost anywhere from a couple of hundred dollars to thousands as i mentioned and it really all depends on these choices and your situation but also you have to take into account that if it's your first year homeschooling, you may spend a little bit more because you're just getting started. You also might make mistakes when you're choosing curriculum. We all do it. I purchased plenty of curriculum that I didn't end up liking or using. You definitely want to shop around, go on eBay, check the Facebook um, groups where they do this, the selling, the selling groups. Um, Check around. There are ways to cut cost, but it also comes with a little extra work. You might have to do some searching and digging. Um, also, like thrift stores and like Goodwill and stuff, they sometimes have really great options to include in your homeschool as well. Another question I get a lot is, is homeschooling tax deductible? And in the United States, typically in most states, 
it is not tax deductible at all. You are not getting anything for homeschooling your child from the government, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> and while I say that there are a few states that do offer some kind of um, credit, but I had to think of the word, yeah, it's credit, but um, you have to do your research in your state, but generally they don't give you anything for homeschooling. If anything, they want your kids to be in school because the school, yeah, it's a lot of stuff if you actually look into it. But um, yeah, no, you're not going to get anything from the government for homeschooling. So in a nutshell, homeschooling can cost anywhere from a few hundred dollars or less to the thousands of dollars, depending on your choices and how you're going to homeschool, your budget, all of that. You, it, but there is possibilities no matter what stage or situation you are in. As I shared in my story, I mean, my situation could have been worse, but it wasn't ideal and I managed to homeschool and, you know, teach my kids to the best of my ability. We also talked about getting homeschool credit or a deduction from the government. That doesn't happen on your taxes either. There's no tax deductibles for homeschooling and for the most part you can do your research more if you are interested but definitely in New York if you're homeschooling here you get nothing for sure for sure nothing <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment section below if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you think somebody else can benefit from this video please share. If you um, want more information, check the description box and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you then.